So I, I um, originally, I guess the models were, this was how it was viewed before. This was the, the main screen. Okay. And so you can see that we have a lot of a lot of options here like below here we have some of the systems where you're able to toggle between layers so I can use the the muscular system to to give an example of that and so it basically goes from far end to to far out and you can um, toggle between the layers as as you please and the same, you also have a arterial system, the venous system, and lymphatic and nerves. And then you also have some functional systems such as the respiratory and digestive, endocrine, et cetera, that you can toggle between to see the, the different components of that. For example, I, I, I'm a big, huge fan of the, the search, the search uh, function here because it gives me the ability to search like within any, any term or anything that I'm wondering about and then it's right there. So if I just, let's say that I am curious about the gluteus uh, maximus muscle, I can click here and it, it pops up. And uh, you also have like this uh, description on the left side that gives you the origin insertion action and nerve supply and arterial supply and at least in in medical school like you have to certainly know the the muscle name but also the action and which nerve is supplying this muscle and the the arteries and a really nice feature about complete anatomy is that you're you're able to go to motions and see this and see the, the functions um, or the action of the muscle in like these small, small videos. So here we have the, the hip abduction, for example. And that is something you really cannot do in, in, the, in the traditional textbooks. And I think a lot of people struggle a little bit with, with muscles and, and how, they, how they work. So this has really, really helped me a lot. And then you also have these origin insertions. So you can look at the bone that it inserts to. So you can see the origin of the gluteus maximus is on the posterior uh, gluteal line of the ilium. And you also have other origins. And then you can see the, the insertions as well. And then you can also highlight the, the nerve that is supplying the muscle which is the inferior gluteal nerve not that's important right now but you can either isolate it or highlight it as you please they're also like a very very valuable tool uh, and i assume that you can it's very valuable if even if you're you you've preceded anatomy and you're now teaching or learning about radiology because this is how we're doing the imaging of the body and so here you can see like the entire cross section approximately at the transverse abdominal uh, abdominal muscle and uh, you can go here and you can highlight exactly what these things are and you see it on the name at the left here uh, what kind of um, structure that you're you're clicking on for me like I because I haven't really gotten to radiology yet so for me I've used it for example in the especially in the arm especially in the arm because then you learn the relation of the muscle there's so many muscles and in, in both the in the in the forearm especially and you can easily see from, from superficial to deep where these muscles are located. And then you can also see the relation with the nerves as to where they're going. I really like this slides as well. So I thought uh, I wanted to show that. I think we should also just highlight the courses here. I think that, you know, complete anatomy started as just an atlas for the anatomy and the structures of the body, but it's become so much more. 
So now we ha also have these courses here, ranging from anatomy to physiology, cardiology, surgery even. And just as late as uh, yesterday, I was actually going through the basic 12 lead EKG interpretation. Um, so it's really useful that you get all these extra futures that are taught by great clinicians. But I also think that the, the slides are something that is a really, really nice feature of complete anatomy because you're able to, let's say that uh, I'm curious about the esophagus. We can, you get these pre-made uh, images or uh, I guess they're called slides or screens, screens, I guess. And you can click them and uh, you'll immediately get there where to the term that you've asked. And you can also click the, the labels and read more about the terms as well. So we have the, for example, the esophageal branch of left gastric vein. You can read about where it's coming from and where it's uh, supplying to. So you can zoom in, you can rotate and see, um, just go around, you know. You have these uh, detailed models, for example, of the eye, um, where you can really view the eye in, in very detailed and it's very nicely made. Uh, all the muscles going to it, the different layers of the eye. So you can, you can go here, you can hide this if you're not interested in that. And then you can zoom in, you can see all the different nerves. You can read about them here at the left. Yeah, it's really cool. And also we have some, some microanatomy models, such as the, I guess we can do the kidney lobe, for example. So you get a very detailed, uh, detailed uh, picture of the anatomy of the inside of the, the kidney, the tubules and, and uh, ducts and uh, the different parts. And you can read about their function and their relation to other things at the left again. I think that it gives you a, like a better understanding, like it's easier to orientate yourself and under, actually understand what you're looking at. You can really see like how the, the atrium beats and how the ventricle beats and, and work together. And you're able to hide layers so you can see when these valves are opening and closing, which is uh, quite incredible. I believe we have to go to the library and then videos. And then if we filter, we can choose cardiology here. So for example, ventricular tachycardia, you can, you can go here and click and you can see a, a video of, of how that looks like. The heart has its own unique self-conducting electrical system, which enables the heart to beat it originates in the right atrium, one of the upper chambers of the heart. Tachycardia is a term used to describe an abnormally fast heart rate. Ventricular tachycardia occurs when there is a disruption to the electrical system. You also have these tools here, like I haven't used them that much, but you're able to, to write both in two-dimensional and three-dimensional and label certain things. And then you can also cut so let's say that I want to remove part of uh, this muscle here. You can cut and you can see uh, the underside of how it looks like below, either below or, or above. I think the three-dimensional is definitely the, the biggest thing, but also the ability to search 
uh, up anything that you're, you're wondering about. And I think that it's more than a book because you also have these courses, you have these uh, um, slides and you're able to make quizzes and, and save screens. So it's definitely a bigger tool kit than, than what a book is. For me, Complete Anatomy has been a, a lifesaver.